Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So, took a trip to General Dimensions last week. Um, we left on a Friday. We hung out Friday afternoon, Saturday, me and the wife. Um, Sunday, uh, the guys started arriving. We started, um, you know, going to do the registration and all that stuff. And me and the guys kind of hung out and everything. And then Monday was actually the beginning of it. So, you had Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, uh, just kind of an overview. Monday uh, was keynote, uh, general session, some classes. We had a social event that afternoon. Tuesday, classes, Expo Center. Wednesday, classes, Expo Center to about two. And then we went to Allegiant Stadium, which is the home of the Raiders, right? So, um, this video is a lot longer than I intended on, but guys, this is three days of, well, no, it's not three, four, four at least four days of footage, I guess. So I spent, I got back Thursday um, midday, so I spent Friday going through all this video and editing everything and trying to put everything together. And then uh, when I say that, that's just the footage, that's, that's not putting the video together. And then I spent yesterday saturday and today is sunday and i think i finally have got this thing finished and i'm gonna try to publish it sometime this afternoon but it's uh, about 45 minutes long you know this is not um a tutorial this is not educational this is hopefully a little entertaining um it's way too long it's a lot longer than it needs to be i totally get that um but hopefully you enjoy it you can just don't watch it all at once just watch it at different times during the day right um, so anyways, this Trimble Dimensions kind of give you an idea. You guys need to go. I mean, uh, actually I think most of you were there because I kept having people come up to me, tell me they watched the channel and, and how much I've helped them and everything else, which was just uh, totally amazing. I was beyond humbled at, um, the response from the channel. So, um, it makes me want to do more. I've got some big plans on doing some more stuff. I am fixing to get after it. Um, you know, the... Surgery and everything. Uh, I'm over it. Everybody's asking me, are you back? I, I feel like I'm back 100%. I um, got more energy. I feel like doing something now. So let's uh, let's see if I can't put some more videos together for you guys because obviously they're helping you. So um, and that's my goal. So um, guys watch this video. I apologize for a lot of things in this video. I am uh, not a cinematographer. I am a surveyor. Uh, I'm doing the best I can with the camera. I'm doing the best I can with the editing. I apologize on the front end. Um, my camera work is probably not the best. I'm not used to carrying the camera and doing video or talking or anything else. So uh, that little Insta360 sure helped out a lot. So uh, anyways, guys, um, watch this, and I hope you enjoy. Okay. It's about 5.30 a.m., I have not been to bed yet. So today is Friday. Cindy and I fly out for um, Las Vegas. We are headed out. Um, I think the flight leaves at like 740 this morning. So I'm fixing, I'm down here at the shop. I'm fixing to go down and get her, wake her up, get her ready to go. We already got her bags packed. We're headed to the airport, <clears throat> jump on a plane, fly to Vegas. We thought we'd get out there a little bit early. Dimensions doesn't start until actually Monday morning. Um, Sunday you can register. So we decided to go out um, today, Friday. Um, we get there about noon, something like that. Chill for the rest of the day, get up tomorrow, you know, Saturday, hang out, kind of just kind of check out the sites and stuff. And, and uh, then <clears throat> Sunday we'll register for the the uh, conference, um, I think I got a couple like, I don't know, like a, some kind of drinks or social media thing or something, I don't know, on Sunday. But anyways, um, try to keep you guys posted. Um, we're fixing to get on a plane and fly out and we'll just see how it works out. Okay, so we made it to the airport with three minutes to spare. Literally, we walked in the door and the guy at the check-in said, you have three minutes to check your bags. Holy crap, I didn't think we would cut it that close. We made it, Dallas-Fort Worth, on a McCarran, no issues. Um, flight was great, despite the rattling. Um, so yeah, uh, we're on our way to Vegas. 
So, Saturday, we decided to go and do a little shopping. We went next door to the mall that's um, kind of just across the road from Treasure Island. So, a uh, pretty good-sized mall, Neiman Marcus, everything else in there. But one thing I couldn't find was a mouse. I was looking for a mouse for my laptop. So, um, while we were in there, there was a makeup store, and my wife decided that we should go in and look at makeup. So, man, um, yeah, that was a whole lot of fun, as you can imagine, guys. Um, <clears throat> going in uh, in a makeup store with your wife has got to be top ten on vacation, right? Okay, so I went ahead and got registered on Sunday because there's over 5,000 people that signed up for Trimble Dimensions. And I think 4,995 of them were there Monday morning. So get there early on Sunday, get registered. That would be my suggestion, unless you just like lines. Um, so uh, registration was cool. Uh, they gave me a tumbler, which I was kind of disappointed because I like getting the Trimble jackets with the date on them. So it's kind of some memorabilia. So anyways, um, registration, um, like I said, be there on Sunday. And... Um, Whenever I checked in as a speaker, I had to check in, and my buddy Dan Bavitas was there um, and checked me in as a speaker. So if you ever wonder who the guy is that I call when I have an issue, when I need to know something, that's him right there, Dan Bavitas. He is the man at Trimble. Okay, one of the things that really surprised me at Vegas was, number one, the number of you guys that came up to me and said how much you enjoyed my videos, how much it's helped and everything. I tell you, I was humbled. Um, I just blowed away. Uh, you guys are incredible. And I'm probably going to say that a hundred times during this video, but you guys are incredible. I love each and every one of you. Just really, really touched me uh, at the number of people that these videos actually reach and help. But anyways, this video is just for entertainment. This is not going to help you with anything, by the way. But except this thing. This thing got more attention than I think anything else um, that I saw at the conference because everywhere I walked around with this thing, everybody was looking at me. So what this is is an Insta360 camera. So this is the version 2. There's a version 3 out, which looks pretty cool. I'm going to put an affiliate link um, in the notes on the uh, YouTube video. This thing, uh, I'm looking at Amazon right now. It says it's $449. So... Um, Hit that link and go check it out. And if you buy it, I actually get commission on that, by the way, just so you know. Uh, so if you want to help brother out, you want the camera, use that link. So Insta360 camera, what it does is it uh, videos in 360 degrees. It is absolutely amazing how this little camera works. You know, the quality is, is good enough. I mean, you can see from the video, quality is definitely good enough. Um, but what you can do is... The software that comes with this, you can, uh, your video on 360, so you can spin it around and you can uh, keyframe in what you want. So it's really kind of cool how this thing works. So as you're watching through this video, um, note that when I'm using this, like in the um, a, a lot of the events that, that we did, I, I actually use this instead of using my big camera. So anyways... Um, the social media event uh, that you're fixing to watch, Michael Dix was totally blown away with this. He's the uh, social media guy at Trimble, and um, he was fascinated by this thing. So you might see Trimble using one of these before long. I don't know. Uh, Michael gets a whole one plays with it, and he might like it. So anyways, um, we are at the bar at the Dorsey Club, I believe it is, in the Venetian, and... Elaine Ball is there, Slugsy100 from Instagram, he's there, uh, Lee Landman, um, and I wish I could remember his name, there's a guy from Chile, he's there as well. Um, uh, Peter Cox showed up, um, but we had several different people. Um, my good buddy Trent from Mentoring Mondays, he was there. Um, uh, uh, Kent from uh, the Geoholics, he was there. Gosh, I don't want to leave anybody out, but there was quite a group. So we had a lot of fun um, hanging out. And like I said, Michael Dix was totally fascinated with this camera. So anyways, watch this. It's pretty cool. Now it's recording. The audio as well? Yeah. It's got a speaker right there. From the Channel Dimensions. So you, when you 
you do this, you can um, you can keyframe it, right? So you download this, and you basically you yeah. click a button, and then I can keyframe it however I want. Wow, that's pretty cool. But look at, okay, so that's Slugzy 100 at their lead landman. Um, to the right of Michael Dix. Uh, Michael Dix is the one that I'm talking to. Jesus! That's how it looks like water. It's tough. Okay, there's Elaine Ball and her husband uh, standing next to uh, Slugsy there. Um, we're kind of waving this camera and I'm explaining everything, so you're going to have to excuse the video a little bit. It's a little, little uh, kind of chaos. There's an app for your phone, so I'm connected to the uh, Insta360 with my phone and I'm showing these guys how this works, how you can. You can view what the camera sees, and you can spin it around and look at it and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. So, like I said, they, they were, like, totally fascinated with this thing. Okay. Monday morning. I'm at Treasure Island, headed over to... Uh, Venetian for the Trimble Dimensions. Uh, we gotta get over there. It's about 6.45, 6.50 right now. And I've got about 10, 15 minute walk to get over there. And uh, we are, all the guys from any hour are supposed to get together and have breakfast this morning. And I guess, see what our days are gonna be like. So we're fixing to head over there. See what's happening. Okay, so uh, this is Carson from Treasure Island over to Venetian. Just FYI, the rooms at Treasure Island for this event were like, I don't know, 80 bucks, and they were like 250 $300 a night at the Venetian, so I stayed at Treasure Island. And then I will, it's, it's kind of cool because I can keep running. Okay, so here we're on our way over to breakfast. So uh, I think breakfast was, I think the first morning was 7, second morning was 7.30, and I think the third morning was 8. They just kept moving it back. Um, so we went over, had breakfast, uh, kind of buffet style. Uh, I mean, they're trying to feed like 5,000 people. This is it just amazing, totally amazing. So... Um, we went over, had breakfast, and uh, from here we're leaving and headed to the keynote, which is going to be Rob Painter, the CEO of Tremble, and then Steve Wozniak, one of the co-founders of Apple. And I'm going to tell you, if you have never <clears throat> listened to Steve Wozniak, he's a hoot. Um, it was kind of funny. I kind of felt like maybe they Tremble didn't interview him first because it, it seemed like he was anti-technology all the way around. It was it was really fascinating to listen to this guy talk about um, technology, uh, electric cars, and um, the only thing I can tell you is if, if you get a chance to um, to watch Steve, I, I highly recommend it. He's actually quite entertaining. Um, as you can see, we got quite a crowd here. There's um, a lot of people in here for this keynote. Um, Rob Painter, the CEO of Trimble, uh, he seems to be just truly genuine, um, quite an awesome uh, personality. I really like listening to him. Um, he's always got a lot of good information. Um, this thing was like, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half long. I didn't video the whole thing. I didn't think you guys would want to listen to the whole thing. But just kind of give you an idea what the, you know, what everything looked like. So this is the... Um, uh, what do they call this, a ballroom, I think it was. So there's Better Rob. The um, the I'm sitting in nosebleed seats, so um, I've got my camera on full zoom here. Deliver these projects with higher levels of productivity and higher levels it's about leveraging all this data to analyze and optimize your business outcomes. The Super cool about guy. about connecting stakeholders, data, and workflows. And you're telling us that you're looking for technology that is interoperable and open. And we hear you. So let's look at because we're trying to make our yeah, product really good, but we just didn't succeed on cost and uh, cost, size, battery life, all that. Um, couldn't do it all. Well, hey, let's fast forward to the state of technology today. Um, technology is moving so fast. We, we had a quote earlier about the, the pace.
pace of change has never been this fast and it will never be this slow again. What advice do you have for organizations to help them keep up with the pace of change? Okay, yeah, moving fast means we're going places fast or we're changing all the time fast. Everything's changing every, every day of the year. And I hate it, it's one of the bad sides of the internet, um, of, of you know the cloud and all that, that what you have today, it may be very different tomorrow as a user. I'm always more focused on the user than the producers. I've always believed more in the small and the weak and versus the powerful and, and all this and, and stood up for them. And things changing so fast. Powerful, like maybe terminal. <laughs> Got a kick at it. So this is um, a a, um, a class on the uh, Trimble SX12. Um, I just kind of want to give give you guys uh, kind of an idea of what the classes look like. So I only videoed a couple of them for you, um, but this is about the inner workings of the mechanics of the uh, of the SX12. So this was pretty interesting, um, way above my head, but really interesting. Okay, so this is the general well, session. This was, um, we know it's I'm thinking, I can't okay, remember if it was before or after we lunch. So we went to breakfast and comes. then we went to this First general example, session the um, we'll where they're the talking about I'll some of the technologies. Okay, so this is my buddy Boris. Yeah, Boris That's is right, like, buddy. I just love him to yeah. death. Does, He's from Croatia. Like uh, he used to be the to um, the manager for, uh, or the product manager for Trimble Business so Center. Next, uh, you want to talk about like Sharp. This guy is unbelievable. He is so humble. And um, like I said, I just love him to death. He is so humble. He's such a great guy. Me and Boris are really good friends. And um, he is really making a footprint at Trimble these days. That lead uh, towards sensor miniaturization uh, are driving all of these things you can see here on the screen. So it's really not a question of if, it's really a question of, of when or how fast some of these things are, are impacting our, our daily lives and driving our, our industry. To put things on the, on the Earth's surface. We understand the geospatial data, how it comes together. You know, I got a lot of respect for a guy that's a surveyor in Croatia so you can ensure and that moves to the U.S., the goes to school, the field, um, and, the and, and right, teaches himself and puts himself data, in this position where he's at at Trimble. Fidelity, Just right, totally sure amazing. If you ever get a chance to meet correct. Boris, man, I, I really recommend it. To meet these demands and this pace of innovation. I thought this slide was pretty interesting. 8% of licensed surveyors are retiring each oh, year, and I can believe it, because you know the average age, I think in Mississippi I heard, was like 55, 57, something like that. I'm 55. That means I'm the average age of a surveyor. That's insane. And we have new graduates today who are really ready to step up to the plate. Okay, this is the social that they had um, Monday night. You'll notice that there is food and drink flowing everywhere. So, um, not a cash bar. Everything was wide open. So, um, drinks, food. Um, we walked around. Um, Kevin Rainey, my Mississippi guy, he um, Mississippi sales guy, he was with me. And we wandered around and uh, ran into a few people, talked to some people. You'll, you'll hear here in a second. See, flying my drone. They're asking me about my camera, my 360 camera. So I just told them it's my drone, right? Because it's flying above the crowd so you can see what's going on. How's it going, man? Good to see you, buddy. How's things? Staying busy. So this is Chad. He's with the uh, forensics department. And this is Todd Steiner, another super great guy that's really been excelling at Trimble. Um, I've known Todd a long time back when he was with the in the optical department and um, super super good guy this is my competition by the way guys in florida this is a guy that sells uh survey equipment in north florida same place i do he's with duncan for now neil i believe is his name so there's chris cothern uh he's the guy in the ball cap he is our uh north louisiana sales guy Okay, so I'm walking towards Joe Weaver here. He now works for Duncan Parnell. He used to work for Trimble. Actually, he used to sell uh, Spectre Precision equipment with Trimble. Uh, he was the Spectre Precision uh, sales rep that I dealt with. 
So Joe's pretty cool. Um, myself, Kevin, and uh, Chris Cawthorn were kind of eyeballing some of the Trimble technology, trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so this is Andrew Solomon. He is the product manager for the um, R12. He's giving us a presentation about the interworkings, and that is Stefan Herpin. Uh, he is our South Louisiana sales guy. Orientation in space, the six degrees of freedom you hear people talk about. So having an eye on you. I ran into Joe a minute ago with TBC. He gave me the new hat. You guys know it's a new logo for TBC. So um, this one, see if I can get him to come up. Hi. Okay, so hey, this was to totally fascinating. Um, yeah, why not? I'm probably I'm showing you guys more of this, and I probably need to. But I thought it was channel, amazing so. how this technology worked. Like the guy that. didn't really have his, he didn't really have everything like typical demo, right? He didn't have things turned on and hooked up and this, that, and other. But basically, they're using the nerve impulses in your hand to control this thing. Now, to me. This is fascinating because the possibilities outside of something goofy like this um, is amazing. So, um, and by the way, this camera is like weighs a ton. You have three sensors which sits on the wrist, yeah, and they are picking up signals from the brain. So the brain sends command through the wrist to move your fingers, and we pick these signals and translate them to commands on digital. Life, like robots or something. Hmm. Okay, so here I'm actually using my R5, my big camera, not the 360. Yeah. See that? Okay. And we can detect pressure as well. So when I press, release. Press. Release. So it's reading the muscles. Not the muscles, the nerve signals. The nerve signals itself? If you, if you move my fingers yourself, you will see nothing will happen. Oh, I got you. So that's why it's command. It's not muscles. It's actual command from the The brain. possibilities for this technology hmm. is just and now when I turn it on, overwhelming. Uh, we control the bot. Yeah. Oop! You forgot to turn spot on. This is typical demo. This is the way it works. If it can go wrong, it's going to happen during a demo. Make sure you turn it on. Yeah, yeah still light. I see the light now. Up spot. Up. Oh, there he goes. Up spot. Up. See. Okay. I press. Got to turn everything on. Crazy. So, I, so I Spot is moving by him just moving his hand. I press. Move. So, can we teach him to use a Kaiser blade in the woods? Cut trees? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. You have to talk about this with Trimble guys. So. That is crazy. So all that is controlled from the nerve impulses in your hand. Exactly. Hmm. So let me ask you this. If somebody had an amputation of their hand, it, the, it still will work because yeah. the, the, the um, what do they call it, like the ghost, whatever it's called? Exactly. You know the nerves? I mean, exactly. you still feel your hand there, but exactly. it's not really there. Exactly. So that's got a lot of implications for... For medical and uh, accessibility. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. Interesting. Well, man, that's cool. Thank you. I appreciate Amazing it. Amazing technology. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. So I'm not sure how well I actually caught that, but uh, that, was, that was really pretty wicked. 
how it worked. Oh, hey. Like, are you talking to I'm, your camera? I'm talking to my camera. This is Cody. Cody is uh, like the head of Trimble. We're going to say she's no, the head of, she is the most close. important person at Trimble. I just do stuff. Just do stuff? I just walk around and I like, don't let her fool you. She does, she does geospatial stuff and that's <laughs> the most important thing at Trimble. Okay, this was fun. Luke and I um, took that Insta360 camera and stuck it in spot here uh, and let him walk around. It worked out okay. A lot of vibration goes on every time he takes a step, though. I'll tell you that. So, I guess we could just do it like that. So, you can't see the camera because it removes the stick, right? So, you can't see the camera or the stick. It, it's the way it automatically does. It's, it's The camera is really kind of cool. If you look real close, you can see where it's stitching them together because I got it laying on the side. Hey, I got an idea. So I decided to give Luke the camera so we could get a different perspective so you could see what was going on. So that's the R5 I was talking about I was carrying around. It's kind of a ton to tilt around. Are we recording? So if Luke does uh, some YouTube videos uh, on access um, for Trimble, so. The problem we had when it was walking around, it was bouncing so bad, we're kind of worried it was going to come flying out of its mouth. Oh yeah, I don't think it's going any further. We'll put some duct tape on it. I think we're okay. It's a different perspective, isn't it? So that, that's the camera I was walking around with all the time. So, what if you did it like, and it's still gonna move around a lot. Something a little bigger? So this guy, he gave me the uh, his. Look, he's got the new, the the version three. He actually did a video and stuck it on Instagram. Um, the same thing I'm doing here, um, but he had that little Joby um, gorilla pod thing, a uh, little one. So we decided to wrap it around its jaw and see if that would hold him better. It still bounced around like crazy. How cool is that? I know. <laughs> you know, the, the image stabilization of that camera actually worked pretty good because I'm going to tell you what, that thing was flopping all over the place. So, no more vibration. That's Look at that. No more vibration, vibration than you can see in the video. It's actually pretty impressive with the stabilization. That is crazy. There you go. I bet you got some good footage there. Yeah, I think that would be cool, wouldn't it? Luke and I had a lot of fun playing with this thing. So, just shortcuts. Uh, thank you. It's kind of a mini and bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah just a little bitty thing. Can you stop it? Look who I ran into. That's the crew. That's uh, Peta on the left, uh, Elaine there the in the blue jacket the with uh, Get Kids Into Surveying. Uh, Peta is, oh, I see her a lot on Instagram. She does a lot of reels and stuff. And there's my boys from the Geoholics. Um, they're doing a little conversation thing. And uh, everybody was asking me, are the robots waterproof? Well, I think Trimble proved it. 
I think I think this is a good proof that yes, they're they're waterproof. And this is a, a cutaway of an SX12. This guy was explaining how it all works. And that's the X12. I'm actually hoping to get my hands on one of those here real soon. And uh, I want to do a video with you guys with the uh, X12 and real works. And um, the X12 is actually using uh, I see perspective. Katie with so. Wells Fargo. So a lot of the financing that we do goes through uh, Wells Fargo. And Katie is my contact. She's the one I'm usually, usually talking to about um, financing stuff. So we got a video here. Hello everyone. Say hi. Welcome to the Wells Fargo booth where you can finance all of your Trimble equipment. And drones. And you drones. Can, you can finance drones now. Yep. So um, the, the one thing that I learned about um, selling Trimble equipment was is that people have to have a way to buy it. That's right. And if you can't um, finance it, then that means you got to pull the money out of your pocket or go to the bank and say, Hey, I want to borrow a hundred thousand dollars for survey equipment, and they're like, "It's not worth ten cents on a dollar to us." No, we're not going to do it. Right. Well, so you can finance it. And how at long an do you? Underbank rate. What is the um, like like a new uh, some new surveyor starts up his new company? How long does he need to be in business before he can? We go and finance. So we typically require two years in business mm -hmm. and we like to see comparable lending history, but we can make it exceptions. You know, if you've got history serving, you've been serving for 20 years under another company, you're going out on your own, we can take a look. Usually with a resume, you've got a house, that kind of thing. So all they got to do is send it in and you'll take care of it. That's correct. S send it to me, I'll get it to Katie, we'll get it taken care of. Yep. So here I'm just walking around the expo center, just kind of checking things out. Um, I stop and talk to a few Trimble buddies um, along the way. That is the MX50. That's the mobile mapping system. This this was hilarious right here. I know that guy. He was he was like so wandering Luke, around, and I saw I'm him. I'm sure you guys recognize him from his. Um, famous YouTube videos. He does all the videos for Trimble Access. He is the guy I go to when I need help. So, Luke? Yeah, come join my YouTube channel as well. It's not as popular as, uh, as Rob's, but uh, it's not Rob's, Rob, yeah, Rob's. Yeah. Um, but uh, it'll get there, come on. Um, Trimble Access YouTube channel. Hey, I've only been doing it for four <laughs> years, man. You're gonna just, gonna, you just gotta like, stay with it. Just stay with it. Got a while to go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we are, day three, and the escalators aren't working. I've gotta go upstairs. I'm getting too old for going up and downstairs. I like escalators. Okay, Whew. last day, and I'm already tired. It's like, I don't know, 7.30 here. So, as you can see, we're going to have to say farewell to Vegas today. Today would be interesting. See how much footage I can get. Show you guys what's going on. Hey, look. There's Stupex Tower back here. We used to call that when I worked out here. We call it Stupid's Tower. So anyways, let's go in here and see what we can get done today. Woo. Okay, so last day at Terminal Dimensions, um, we went to the uh, Allegiant Stadium. Um, that afternoon, <clears throat> I didn't get a whole lot of video the third day. I mean, it was kind of the same old, same old, right? Uh, classes, uh, Expo Center, you know, kind of the same old, same old. So I really didn't get uh, much video, carried a camera around, didn't do anything with it. Um, so that afternoon, uh, actually sessions ended, I'm going to say about 2 o'clock. And um, so then 5.30, 6, 7, I can't remember exactly what time it was. Um, we all caught a bus, uh, actually I took an Uber, but most of us caught a bus, uh, went over to the stadium, uh, it's the Raiders stadium. So, um, <clears throat> we got to get on the field, we got to do a lot of stuff, and, um, I ran into, um, Jay Haskamp with Frontier there, 
And um, if you guys are not familiar, you should be with Frontier Precision. Um, Jay Haskamp does a lot of videos um, on there, a lot of support stuff. So, um, so here I am with Jay, and um, just kind of running through a tour of Allegiant Stadium, so you can kind of kind of check that out. It, it's a pretty neat event. What's up, look, guys? Look who? Up. Whoop. Yeah, are we recording? We're recording. Yep. Hey, so uh, look who I found. I found Mr. Jay. That's me. So. Um, Everybody loves Jay's videos. You know, uh, he started by finally making really good videos after I gave him a few pointers. He's doing pretty good now. <laughs> so uh, say hi to Jay. What's uh, up, everybody? Hopefully I get this video together this week. And um, I, I, I want to do a podcast with you at some time. I want to yeah. let's get together and let's do something. A bit. Absolutely. I Great idea. I mean, everybody loves your stuff, my stuff. So yeah. let's get together and let's do something cool. We'll teach everybody something new. We'll do it at the Waffle House. I think that's a great. There's a lot of. <laughs> we have, you have to come down to the house for us to do the Waffle House. That's fine. I'll but, do that. But there's one on every corner in Mississippi, so yeah. that's easy. There we go. Cool. I'm gonna go take a tour. All right. See you later, man. Okay. So the backstory with the Waffle House with Jay is Jay came down and did uh, some training. I think it was with Navy Base or something for us down in um, I believe it was Gulfport, Gulfport of Biloxi. And um, so he, he called me up. We got we hooked up. We'd spoken a lot, but we'd never met. I mean, Jay's from up in Minnesota, so um, he was down on the coast. So we got together and uh, had breakfast at Waffle House that morning. So that's why he says we meet at the Waffle House. Okay, so this is inside the, the stadium. This is one of the bars. There's like a bar on each floor. Um and um, I ran into Lee Landman, Slugzy 100, here at the bar, so we were kind of horsing around a little bit. I stuck the camera right in his face. And there he is. Just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I run into those boys from Chile again while I go. They're so cool. Man, I just love the shit out of them. Man. Where did you run into them? Right over there. Yep. Okay, so we're at the Raiders Stadium here in um, Las Vegas, and from what I'm hearing from Jay, it's pretty nice up here. I have no idea where up here is or where we're going, but we're fixing to take a tour. Okay, so keep in mind, this is my first time doing a vlog, so the camera's like going everywhere. Some of this no I'm editing and some of it I'm not because I just kind of want you guys to see what, what I was seeing at this um, at this stadium. So if the camera looks like it's running wild, it's because I'm not used to holding a camera and talking to people. I use it a bit on a tripod and set up a piece of survey equipment. So I ran into these guys from um, Chile so Frank and Ariel, maybe is how you pronounce his name. I'm not exactly up, sure. Frank is like What's a up, TikTok brother? legend in um, Chile. How's it going? So, um, well, these guys are just so good. absolutely it looks awesome. Better that way. So what? good. So good? Yes. They barely speak any English. He does. It. Frank Robert? there doesn't speak hey, any hey, English. Hey, nice we we, we try to Google Translate thing and didn't Chile, work out right? that well. Chile. So, so these are my boys from Chile. They're like brothers from another mother kind of thing. So um, they're going to be on my YouTube channel. If, hopefully if I get this posted, that would be great. I highly recommend you go connect up with these boys because they are really cool. Okay, so we have to go out on the football field itself. Um, in the stadium. Yeah. And I, oh man, I hope you guys can hear this okay, because wow, was it loud down there. 
Um, really cool getting to get out, play on the field, walk around, uh, get some video, talk to a few people. Uh, truly amazing. It, it was a really neat event. Um, there again, food, drinks, um, you know, Trimble, Trimble covered everything. It was, um, I guess your prize for admission covered everything. My understanding is to rent this stadium, I think it's $300 per person. And that doesn't include the food and drinks. That's just to rent this stadium. Look at the number of people that's out there. And, and that's not including the people that's in the bar. That's not including the people that are wandering around. And, and carrying that camera and trying to look at the camera and walk down the stairs at the same time brings new meaning to walking and chewing gum. I, I was sure I was going to go off the end of one of those rails before it was over it. And that's Lee Landman there in front of me. I just, Lee is so cool. He's a surveyor from South Africa. Um, he's got an Instagram page that just blew up and, and Trimble always invites him. Uh, the last couple of trips I've made, Lee's been there. And man, that, I think he told me it's like a 26 hour flight or something. I told him I was gonna come down and survey with him and bring my cameras. You think you guys would get a kick out of that? Me surveying down in South Africa? I mean, they had the, their cameras out, you know, the stadium's cameras was videoing everybody, you know, all up on the Jumbotron there. Actually, I, I think I got a picture. I saw John Finstermaker's name pop up on there. Got a lot of work with the vlogging thing, don't I? I think I'm better off with just survey equipment. I didn't realize how hard it was to walk around and film at the same time. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so we're at the Raiders football stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. So this is freaking awesome. Uh, we're out down here on the field. Uh, looks like we got some people kicking and maybe doing some passing over here. It's gonna be hard for me to keep up with the exposure on this camera. They keep like changing the lights. And Doing all kinds of weird stuff, so yeah. Um, that camera was getting heavy, by the way. So one of the things that's really surprised me about this conference is the number of people that's actually watching this channel. You want to talk about humbling a um, South? Mississippi country boy slash Arkansas whatever holy crap I'm telling you what I am just like I'm humbled beyond belief at the number of people that actually watch this channel that are here at, at this event all three days I've had people coming up to me wanting to take selfies and wanting to uh, you know just talk to me and stuff about the uh, about the channel and you know tell me how much I've helped them and stuff like that. I mean it's just been nuts. I am so absolutely humbled by all of it. It's amazing. I mean you guys are awesome. This is awesome. I know this is a little outside my norm for the channel, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of uh, what's going on, you know, with Trimble Dimensions. And uh, I'm thinking next year I might I might see about coming as uh, surveying with Robert and uh, maybe get a booth, maybe do a presentation. So my good friend, my good buddy, John Listmaker here from South Louisiana. What do you think, dude? It's awesome. Isn't this awesome? Awesome. I almost didn't come. This is an extra point, though. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. It was awesome. 
you to come. That's good. I wasn't going to, but I was like, you know what? I, I went to my guys on my YouTube channel to show them what you got on. Priceless shit. Yeah. It's good. Okay, so that was about 45 minutes, I feel like, of goodness. I uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wow, that was a monumental task for me to take all that footage from uh, basically four days and put it together into something that makes some sort of sense. Um, I don't know about, you guys tell me, do I do future blogs or vlogs, I guess they call them? I don't know. I Man, that was tough. Uh, maybe if I do them a little shorter, maybe that would help because uh, that has taken me all weekend to put this together for you guys. I hope you, I hope you like it. That's all I know to say. Uh, hours and hours and hours of the Insta 360 and you know my um, Canon R5 that I carry around and um, you know talking to people and this that and the other and trying to hold that camera and. You know, trying to hold the camera and then uh, keep it on whoever I'm talking with. And it gets heavier and heavier and heavier as you're holding it and you're talking. And I'm bad about talking with my hands. So the camera's moving and it's waving all. I don't know. It, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. Anyways, even if you don't like it, please like and subscribe. Um, so I know that you guys are out there. Uh, I'm looking into a camera. I have no idea um, until this event. I really didn't. And maybe that's why I slowed down a little bit. Uh, I really didn't um, grasp uh, how much that these videos were helping you guys. But I had several people. I had, I had some, when I was on the, the football field, I had some guys from Norway, I believe is where they were from, hit me up. About four guys. That was awesome. My buddies from Chile. Man, they were so cool. Even though... The one guy that does all the videos couldn't speak English, so we tried Google Translate, that didn't work. But you know what? The 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 feeling uh, of love for each other was there. We, I, we could feel it. So even though we really couldn't communicate very well, we had ultimate respect for each other, and that is awesome. And uh, the way these videos get around the world is just, whew, man, just insane. But anyways, guys, like and subscribe. As always, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I mean absolutely awesome you guys made me feel like a million bucks uh felt like a celebrity and for a southern goofball down here in in uh south mississippi um you really touched me so guys i'll keep it up you keep it up be safe uh and i'll see you guys in the next video which is going to be real soon i promise